Lucia. I'll go ahead. Madam Lily. Art. Don Ignacio. Madam. Well now. Since the both of you are here anyway, I guess I'll just say this once and for all. You can forget about trying to change my mind with the condition I set, because that will never happen no matter what. Both of you will fail miserably. I still want the same thing. Whoever among you two manages to bring me, Gardo Dalisa first, whether dead or alive, shall earn my endorsement. Consider my order set in stone. Very well, Don Ignacio, if that's what you want. I do have high regard for the both of you, so don't get me wrong when I say this. But I really just find it funny that this time around, you're sort of like some toy cars of mine racing against each other. That's how I see it. But this race is a serious matter, Don Ignacio. After all, we're both aiming for the country's highest political position. And whoever ends up being the new president and vice president will still be of huge help to you in your businesses. So I hope you won't take this matter as a joke to entertain you. Ah, then, madam, you misunderstood me. But anyway, you can come back here when you already have Gardo Dalisai. Best of luck. Well, until next time, Don Ignacio. Till next time. Madam Lily, I'll go ahead. Sure, Art. Art? Yes? How are the Black Ops holding up? It's been so long since you tasked them with locating Dalisa and the others. All things considered, I thought finding him would be easier by now, yes? Oh, don't worry. We are going to get Dalisa with or without the help of the Black Ops. Well, please sit down. Don Ignacio, I hope you'll hear me out. I need a little bit of your sympathy. I humbly beg you, please help me out on this. Our enemies have been striking at us non-stop. The President and I have become the laughing stock of the public day in and day out. I have no one else to turn to anymore. You are the only one who can help turn the tide in this battle. Well then, if that's the case then, all the more that you should do your best in finding and bringing me the Lisai. I must admit, Don Ignacio, it's not an easy task to find Carter de Lisay. The elections will probably be over before we can even find him. We've already made some arrangements for our businesses some time ago. And if I win this election, I will tirelessly work to give you everything you want and need so you can stay in power, Don Ignacio. I'm giving you my word. When it comes to these things, I am much more trustworthy than Renato Hippolito. I will be more valuable to you once I become the president of this country. Madam, this is all I can say at this point. I honestly don't have a problem with you. However, your husband... There, there's nothing to worry about. My husband doesn't have a problem with the deal that we've already made. All right, then. Don't worry, madam. I'll think about it. Just give me... A little bit more time. Thank you, Don Ignacio. I appreciate your consideration on this important matter. If you choose to remain adamant on this matter, Don Ignacio, I'm afraid I'll have no other choice but to get you out of my way. If I have to slit your throat to end your life, Don Ignacio, trust that I will, because I won't let you and Lily get in the way of my plan to become the next president of the Philippines. I'm standing here before you. Sincerely apologize. I'm sorry. All I want is to put this dreadful issue to rest and not to destroy my relationship with my wife. 
How are you doing, Aurora? Are you all right? I'm doing fine. Do you have a problem with me? I don't. I'm glad to hear that. Because I'm really hoping that you and I can get along. Since there's a huge chance my candidacy will soon be endorsed by your father. I'll see you then. <laughs>